be, you know, really great. And, you know, that's really what I'm trying to do is get people to work towards that, that vision and goal. Great. Um, Sinkle Radio, if you're just joining us, uh, my guest today is Stephen Paley, president of uh, Sarasota of the Community Tennis Association. We have a two part. Part one has to do with the, the Community Tennis Association, and part two is going to be how you run and manage a tennis club. So, Stephen, um, yeah. we're talking about leadership and uh, that save some of the tennis club uh, um, menu. We're going to talk about that in the second part. Okay. Uh, the tennis okay. association, can you tell the public? how you get involved with the tennis association? Do you have a website? Do you have a phone number? What's the fee? Just tell us that for people who are don't have an idea how it works, can you share some of the information for us? Sure, sure. So the Sarasota Community Tennis Association, we started that a year ago. And with the goal of running tennis programming and tennis events, for the tennis community. Um, we do have a website. It's srqcta.org. And, um, you know, if people want to call and talk to me about the association, I think you, you can, and, and I'm happy to give my mobile number. Um, it's 941-650-5268. And I'm happy to chat with you about um, the association. But, you know, our mission of the association is to is to really grow the game of tennis by providing affordable access in, to tennis in inclusive settings. Um, you know, we want to be able to run events and programming that can benefit anyone who wants to be involved with tennis. And we understand that, you know, there is a certain investment um, into getting in the game of tennis, um, in terms of lessons or clinics or, you know, um, finding people to play with, finding places to play. And we want to help solve all those problems with the goal of keeping the tennis community together. So, um, we have a very, uh, low cost of membership. It's $25 a year. Um, you can sign up on our website again at srqcta.org and um, you know we, we do provide members a t-shirt when they join and they also get um, for that year of membership um, for events that we run there's uh, they get a, a member discount on those events of course those events are open to anyone who wants to participate um, but members get a, a, a discounted rate on those events so um that's really the gist of the uh, of the association and you know we're going to continue our work um in our in our mission in ways that um benefit the community so we're not just limited to you know a specific event or a specific idea or or programming type it's whatever we need to do to increase the the play of, of tennis in our community and and to provide um, information and guidance, you know, to those who are interested uh, in playing tennis in our in our community. Great, that's a good uh, good point. Um, I really like that mission statement. Do you mind repeating the mission statement of the CTA again, please, for the radio listeners? Sure, sure. The mission of our um, Community Tennis Association is to provide um, affordable access to tennis um, and really, you know, to protect and expand opportunities to play tennis in affordable, accessible, and inclusive settings. So we're trying to provide avenues for tennis wherever people feel comfortable playing. If it's at a city or county park, great. If it's in 
if it's in a parking lot, great. If it's in a, if it's in a club setting, fine. Um, but really, it's about protecting and expanding those opportunities to play um, tennis. And, and, you know, as you mentioned earlier, Seku, that, you know, Sarasota and, and, and Bradenton should be a mecca for tennis. And um, we could be doing a lot more, we feel as a, an association, we could be doing a lot more to help promote that um, than, than is currently being done. I, I really like that mission statement when you said uh, affordable, inclusive setting. People need to be comfortable. Some people, so I, I think that helped a lot because um, there's a lot of people who wanted to play, but they didn't have a an organization like that who welcomed them. That's, that's a good point. You're right when you said uh, there's a lot of people who look at the problems but they don't look at the solution. So our one of our models in coaching is there's, there's no such thing as impossible. Everything is is possible. If you reverse the word impossible, you got possible in it. So Steve, right. after creating this uh, association, what have been the positive impact and uh, feedback have you received from the tennis community and the tennis people in general? Well, um, it's been, it's been great. I think that, um, the, the biggest, um, surprise to a lot of people who have participated in our events. And we had one event in December, our first event, and we had another one in February of this year before, before COVID hit. Um, but the biggest, um, surprise to many people was to see, how diverse the tennis community really was. I think people tend to gravitate towards only those events and programming that are occurring in their little club or in their little place of play. And when we ran this event, our first event was held at um, Payne Park. And we had people, we had over 100 uh, people turn out for that. And they were from all over Sarasota and Bradenton, and many of them had not even known the people um, that they met that day. So that was fantastic that, uh, you know, in our one, in our one event, we were able to expand, you know, the community and to really see people interacting that, you know, um, had never even met before. And I met, I can't tell you many people that I had never met before that I wouldn't have even suspected were even playing tennis. So it just shows you how fragmented our community was. And I think long-term, the goal for the association is to be the hub for tennis in our community. So, um, you know, if you're interested in playing tennis, you come to the association, we're going to help find you a place to play and get you integrated in the community in a, in a positive way that gives you a great experience. Great point. Good point. Good point. So um, I understand uh, you're going to start running uh, tournaments. You're going to work with youth tennis. What is um, also one point I would like to point? Now, when you go around the park in the counties, we still we start to see a lot of pickleball courts. It's pickleball. Mm -hmm. Is a pickleball taking over? Is a pickleball taking over tennis court? What is your intake on pickleball? Well, I, I think, you know, I think we need to look at it. And, I mean, obviously we're a community tennis association, but um, we have to be careful that we don't define ourselves too, too narrowly. And I think, you know, Racket sports in general, I mean, you know, people play multiple racket sports. And I think, right. you know, lo long term, we need to be focused on the racket sports community. I mean, the majority of the people that are in the association are tennis players, but it's not, we're already seeing that pickleball is an extension of that. And people are having fun playing tennis and pickleball. And, yeah. you know, there's, 
there's a lot of young people that are playing pickleball that maybe could be playing tennis if they saw how easy it was or, or you know, how accessible it, it, it was. And, and maybe we need to make it more accessible and probably can. But um, I think we have to be open to all different types of racket sports because the people that are playing those racket sports are wonderful people and we want them in our community. Right, right. Good point. Now, this conversation is so interesting. If you're just joining us, this is Seku Radio in Sarasota and Brenton, Manatee County. And today our guest is uh, Stephen Paley, president of the CTA of our area. Stephen, we have uh, unfortunately two minutes left. I would like to ask you to resume how would you explain the importance and the benefit of CTA in two minutes to someone coming from Ohio or Pennsylvania or New York but brought his racket and wanted to play? Just tell us in two minutes everything you can provide and do for these people. Well, I think, you know, our, our goal would be to somebody who's coming in, new to the area and doesn't know anybody, our goal would be to provide an onboarding of that person into our tennis community such that we would um, connect, we would find out what, you know, the person is comfortable with, where do they live, what's, what's the closest facility or what makes most sense for them in terms of where to play and uh, in an affordable setting, and then help them connect with other like-minded people at their level that they could play with or with pros um, tennis professionals that could help them improve with lessons or clinics. Um, and you know, that, that makes sense for that individual as well as introduce them to some of our association events where they can meet other people and really become part of the community because the hardest part is, is finding your place when you're trying to do it on your own. Right. Good point. So, um, Seku Radio listener, today our guest was Stephen Pelley. That was our part one, how you how to run a community tennis, tennis association. And Stephen and I are going to go into a part two where we're going to talk about how to run a tennis club um, because he's been, uh, he's a president of a new club, the Sarasota Sport Club, where a lot of works and uh, improvement have been made. So Stephen's going to share some of that knowledge with us. Thank you, Steve, for coming to this part one. Thank you again, Steve. All right. I'll... Thank you. Thank you.